What's going on, guys? How we doing? Everyone doing all right? I hope so. I definitely know that I am. The sun is shining. It's feeling good out there. Glad you could make it for this video. What's up? My name is Joseph Morrison, aka Kojo Locks, coming to you with another video. This is a lock channel where we discuss lock content. So if that's something you're interested in, feel free to subscribe, like this video, share it. If you're coming back to my channel, you know the deal though. <laughs> what? <laughs> Gang of love. Now, you did see the thumbnail, so you know what the deal is for today. And I'm really excited about it, because it's uh it's my six month anniversary of my locks. I mean, <laughs> I know it's I know. I know. It's nuts. Huh? I know. It's crazy. Yeah. Calm down folks. I know. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Six months in the game. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna keep going. Mm-hmm. That's right. Six months. All right, all right. So, six months locked, and for today's video, I basically just wanna go over where I'm at in my process with being locked for six months. So, what we're gonna do for this video is, we're gonna take a look at the hair, first of all, right? We gotta do our usual close-up, we know the deal. In that close-up, I'm just gonna discuss a few things about the hair, what's going on, the this, the that, get into the logistics of what's happening up top. Following that, we'll get into my routines. So looking at my washing routine, what changes I've made in there, what changes I've made in my oiling routine, if any, pretty much just my routines in general. And then from that, we'll jump right into just talking about the mental and emotional things that come with my journey six months in the game. You know, I think there's things that are obviously definitely the same, but there are things that are different. So let's just start off with the usual. Let's, you know where we're headed. We're going to the corner. Gotta take a look at the locks. Come on, let's go. You rolling with me? All right, let's do this. All right, so taking a better look at what's going on up top, uh, the first thing I'll say is for those of you that have been following my channel, uh, you remember in my last video or my last retwist video, you know, I showed you my new retwist and it's been about two weeks now. I washed my hair once between that and pretty much I've basically lost that whole retwist. Like the, the retwist itself has actually come out completely, which is fine because my hair is locking beyond that. So it's fine, but it just goes to show that for me, someone that has 2C hair texture, um, I don't know, retwists really don't hold uh, that long in my hair. So that's something to kind of note. Another thing I'll say though, uh, at this point, six months being locked, is my hair length. Like my hair, and I haven't done this in previous videos, but right now my hair is this long. You know, it's like almost touching my eyebrow though. Like when I get to my eyebrow, I'll basically start modeling. Anyway, but I will also say, uh, a lot of new growth. So you can see all the new growth kind of under here, right? Pretty much in every single one. A lot of new growth under here, and then the buds start here. And then just obviously the lock continues. So definitely a lot of length. I'm pretty sure that the next time I do an interlock, uh, I'll have a lot more length, which is something that I'm excited about. And, um, you know, just continuing to bud really. Like, obviously, all my locks are, at this point, they've been budding now for the last couple, or last few months. I think since my fourth month lock update they've been budding, so the budding's just continuing, and um, you know, the hair just continues to compact, get tighter. They're really starting to feel a lot more like locks now, and with the addition of that length, it just kind of feels more and more like I actually have a hair of locks. Now, that being said, still tons of frizzing, obviously, that's just a part of the process, as usual, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm at this point, I feel like I'm just getting really excited when I get to go back and do retwists, or, or uh, do a retightening. But yeah, that's pretty much where we're at. Now let's uh, step back and talk about it, shall we? All right. So, there you have it. It's pretty much the full visual, the 360, if you will. Um, and I guess, you know, I would say the five to six month period that I'm in right now, or that I just came out of, has probably been the most enjoyable for me so far, um, for many reasons, and I guess I'll start I guess I'll explain all that by just letting you guys know what I've been up to and what the process has been for me like in, the, in this month. Starting out with like my washing routine, for example. So for a lot of you, you might know already that I use the Design Essentials line to wash my hair. I've been using the Design Essentials Henna and Oat Protein. That's the one that I've stuck with and went with. I've discontinued using the Avocado and, damn it, I forget the name of the, what's the full name of it again? I'll post a picture of it right here so you can see the one I'm talking about, but that's the one I would go in with 
following my oat protein, um, I don't do that anymore. So all I use right now is the one uh, shampoo, the oat protein and henna. And this one I love. So basically when I do go into wash, I'll literally wash my hair, rinse it out, do a second wash just to kind of make sure that I'm getting all of that build up out and anything that's in the hair that shouldn't be in the hair. Um, and then sometimes, depending on if I do have a little bit more build up, I'll go in for a third time, lather up again, just to make sure that all of the dirt, everything is out of the hair. Um, and we're just really, you know, loading up with those good, uh, healthy nutrients for the hair and the scalp. That's pretty much my process. And I was doing that every five days, as you guys remember, in my earlier stages. I then converted over the last two months to doing uh, once a week. And over the course of this month, I have been even extending that further now. So last time I, last time I washed my hair, well actually it was a couple days ago, but before that, I'm now extending my washing cycle to, I'm trying to go about a week and a half to two weeks. And essentially the reason for that is I just want to give my hair as much of a break as I can from doing, you know, any kind of extra maintenance to it. Because obviously washing is a form of maintenance, you're maintaining your hair. Now my whole thought process to it is, you know, as long as I don't have buildup in my hair uh, and it's not dirty, I don't really need to wash it. So after about a week and a half, I noticed there was a little bit of buildup. So I said, you know what, let me go in and give it a good wash. And it was good. I think two weeks honestly will probably be the window that I'll stick with going forward. I don't really want to go farther or longer than that not washing my hair just because for me I'm pretty active I like to work out every, pretty much every day so you know with a lot of that sweating will come build up especially if I'm not eating as healthy as I possibly can right which is to be honest the case sometimes so that's pretty much what I've been doing in terms of washing my hair and it's held up pretty well you know I think I'm at that phase now where I'm just kind of trying out different things and seeing how it's affecting my hair I feel pretty positive that I was able to wash my hair after a week and a half and it was okay you know I was actually nervous that after about a week, I was gonna be having a lot of itching and things like that, and that wasn't the case. So, thumbs up, pretty happy about that. Another thing that we'll touch on as well is just moisturization and the daily upkeep with that. That's been pretty much the same as far as my timing. I do it about once every other day. I'll go in, I'll rose water my hair, right? Just give it a little bit of moisture. Then following that, I'll go in with my oils just to make sure that I'm sealing in that moisture and giving the hair and the scalp a little bit of extra nutrients from the oils that I am using. Uh, the one thing I did change up though this month is I switched oils that I was using. So some of you might know I was, I was initially using that grapeseed oil uh, as my sealant and in that grapeseed oil concoction I also added tea tree oil which is really really great for itching and build up and things like that um, and peppermint which is good for about the same thing. So what I did this month was I switched over to jojoba oil. So I'm now using jojoba oil as my sealant and I'm still using tea tree oil because I honestly love how tea tree oil makes your scalp feel, especially after a wash. And then you put in that oil, with the, oh, it just, it tingles, but it's like a nice sensation. It just feels good. I have my tea tree oil, I have my peppermint, and I've actually added in lavender as well. So, um, I guess the new addition to my oils is now using jojoba instead of grapeseed. So I'm using the jojoba oil which is a really really light oil similar to the grapeseed. I would say a little bit lighter than the grapeseed oil which I like. Uh, especially now that it's kind of the weather's getting warmer, I'm probably going to be sweating a lot more so it's just good to have a lighter oil. And the good thing about jojoba oil is it's the closest thing to the natural sebum of your scalp. Hmm? Oh, oh what's sebum, my bad. So. Sebum, basically what it is, is an oily substance that is produced by your body, it's glands, um, and it's basically like a natural oil that your body produces to, in your scalp's case, just to help to moisturize your scalp. So the good thing about jojoba oil is it's the closest thing to your body's natural sebum that your body produces. So I just felt like why not give it a try, I've done you know a little bit of research on it to know that it's an oil that I want to try. It feels pretty fail safe to be honest, so I just want to see what the differences are between the jojoba and the grapeseed and so far I like it. Doesn't mean I'm going to get rid of grapeseed for good, but for now I'm rocking with the jojoba. With the combination of jojoba, the tea tree, and the lavender and peppermint, I like it. It just has a good smell to it. Um, the lavender especially kind of adds just a nice extra scent to it, so I, I'm happy about that. And more importantly, it feels good on my scalp, doesn't feel like I'm getting any extra buildup or anything like that. So. All systems go as far as the oiling process goes. Again, I'm doing it once every two days, and that's kind of what I stick with. If there is a day again where I do feel like my, my scalp is very dry and I oiled my hair yesterday, 
I'm still gonna oil my scalp. And the last thing I'll say in regards to this month uh, in terms of just the mental and emotional things that kind of go into it is honestly, the five to six month mark as I mentioned earlier in the video has probably been my favorite month Mainly because, you know, I got a retwist, I am seeing more length in my hair, I feel like the budding is happening more and more, uh, the hair is coming together more, I feel free to try new oils without feeling like I'm messing up my routine, or you know what I mean? Like, I just feel like things are going really well, I feel like I'm at a good place now. It's almost like I'm having fun with the process now, as funny as that sounds, but I am. And... You know, it's always good just seeing progress. So I think that's mainly one of the reasons as well. But I will say this, that there are still those days that are on and off, just like anything else. Like, there might be a day that you wake up and, I don't know, you see a pimple on your face and you're like, oh man, you know, my face looks so bad today or whatever, right? Like just, I don't know. So I, I just think that this is a stage where obviously with the new growth that's coming in and new things that are happening, I'm just in a good place as far as the journey is going. And I'm looking forward to what's to come, really. And also, it's just the little small victories. Like, even when I recently got my retwist, my uh, loctician, she actually styled my hair to one side. I was kind of rocking that little side look for a little bit. So it just kind of giving me that, you know, positive insight that like, oh, like I'm gonna be able to kind of start styling my hair a little bit going forward. So little things like that. It's the small victories I feel like in this last month that have really just given me a positive boost and, and feeling really good about the process and enjoying it. I would just say more and more, I care less about the frizz. Like I've kind of been good with it even past the three month mark, but as time goes on, the frizzing is just a part of it. Again, you're gonna have those days where you reach in your head and you, like even right now, there's like a little patch right here. You, I, you probably won't be able to see it. But there's a little patch right here of just like loose hairs that are just frayed out of the lock. And I know that in a couple weeks, I'm gonna go back for an interlock. She's gonna put them back in their parted sections. And as time goes on, those loose hairs come together. As the hair continues to come together, they're gonna be together. So I'm just not stressed about it at all. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much where I'm at with this process. Six months in the game, six months locked. Like, you're like halfway to a year. Anyway, I'm pretty excited about it. I'm happy about it, and I'm looking forward to what's coming next. So stay tuned, stay locked, keep it rolling if you are on the process as well. And um, let me know what you're doing in your process. I know a lot of people, not a lot, but there have been people that are commenting on where they're at in their process, and I've kind of been able to reach out to other lockers, which has been cool. I feel like it's a real, you know, as they say, it really is a community, and I'm, I'm looking forward to connecting with you all. And if you are on your process and have tips for me or have insights to anything that I've said, feel free to shoot the comments. This kid is really, so my daughter's in the other room, she's supposed to be taking her nap right now, but um, yeah, she just talks to herself for like half an hour before she naps, that's her process, right? Anyway, so yeah, stay locked, I will be coming to you guys again next week with another video, so until then, feel free to subscribe, like this video, share it with a friend if you thought it was helpful or insightful, and um, enjoy the good weather out there. You know, summer's coming around, so get out there and enjoy it. Peace and love, y'all. Kojo Locks signing out. Catch you guys on the next one.